What up fam, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Deb. Before we get into much today, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we drop goodies like these. Welcome back, such a treat. Great play fam, come on, let's eat. Thumbs up the video, let's get to a week. at least 1K likes. Shall we pray? First and foremost, I'd like to give honor and thanks to God. We'd like to also thank the, for those that are joining us in regards to what mood and temperament they are in. When they arrive, we pray this uplift by time they depart. Father God, we'd also like to thank you for a restoration and that leaning and looking on and to you, anything is always possible. So in your son Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. What we got for y'all today? Soul Food Sunday. We got some baked chicken, drums, carrots, wings, macaroni and cheese, some candy yams, peach cobbler, and over in the cut, we got some green beans. That's it, that's all. How y'all doing? It's been a while. What's happening? I am so hungry. All right, so I had to get me some paper towels and get me uh, some sauce. I ain't putting none on the last time, so might not even do it. So as I was editing the last Soul Food Sunday, I was talking about a question. And I said I'll get into my response on another video. So saying it early enough in this video, I can also remember. Let's talk about it after I eat a little bit. And if you didn't piece together by now, I'm jazz cooked this. So, home, home, soul food Sunday. Her peach cobbler always hits. Most of the food does, really. So one thing I definitely say will be like grief counseling which is also tied into awareness of emotional vulnerability or in certain areas lack thereof, you know? Because as I'm learning, come in. Can I get it to go box? Yes. Mm -hmm. But in some areas, you may be completely open and vulnerable, but in other areas, you could have a trauma.
and not know how to fully express what might be going on in your head or even know how it's being expressed. So that's definitely something that wasn't really available when I was a kid. That I definitely, I won't leave the door open for my a little bit of everything it would all be finished around the same time So another thing too would be not only availability, but providing different styles and types of literature for them to read. To be able to see different perspectives. To maybe translate what they're trying to express themselves. Because sometimes it can be hard to express something that you may feel, but you've never had to explain it. The boys like completely wrecked their playoff game yesterday. 44 to zero. They try all different type of things that they've been practicing to see how it will go like in real time against another team instead of just going against each other in scrimmages. When the score got up to around like 30 or so. So it was a fun game to watch our 8U went to the next round of playoffs. The 10U team for our park advanced to the next round of playoffs as well. Unfortunately, it was a nail biter for the 12 U and the team who they beat last year in the final round of the playoffs is the one who they were up against. So a bit of a rivalry match and it was a very low score game it was only 8 to 0. So 
So that goes to tell you that it was a slugfest. We had a few repairs done around the house today. Jazz practically cleaned the upstairs, top and bottom. So the overall aura and vibe of the home is definitely feeling conducive. Because you know how when you have outstanding cleaning in the house, it's going to affect your mood and temperament. And the patches on the holes in the walls that's a sigh of relief as well and I think we found us a reliable contractor so I'm gonna So I'm gonna give another shot with another project probably next week. And depending on how he does with that, we'll see what we go to next. Boy, I ran through the chicken. Probably should've got a little more drums, huh? So how was your week? What are your plans for the upcoming week? I know I say this all the time, but I'm striving to get my backlog down. Because I have as much stuff as I have recorded. It just feels like a disservice have it just sitting. Taking the time to record it. Although some of them need voiceovers.
moving cameras, planning, maneuvering in shots and angles. Anybody got time to be wasting doing all that? And then I have a um, overall end product. So that's also why I'm really looking forward to getting back to cooking and doing vlogs. But I'm probably just gonna have to start instead of thinking about and worrying about clearing the backlog, just do them simultaneously. Have an old video going up at the same time as a present video. But besides maybe a haircut though, for the most part, when I do record, You won't really notice a, a huge difference between times. Got me a little more piece cobbler over in the cut. Then I'm gonna tear it to in just a second. You know, eating that drum just now made me think of fruit. And how a lot of fruit we peel downward, like bananas, oranges, dragon fruit. And just name a few, right? But even that drum put me in the mind of that too. All right, depending on how you eat chicken, will kind of determine how easy or difficult it is. To clean the meat off the bone. Because holding it upright like this, you have to bite it off by turning it upside down. You get all the meat off the chicken bone in one bite. Need a little bit of help with the belch, clear out some space. Mm -hmm. Am I the only one who feels that homemade desserts, they do you differently 
than the packaged ones. Because some that's made from scratch in the kitchen, I can eat it and be pretty okay. But use like the packaged stuff from the store, a couple of bites and my stomach is turning and doing flips. This food is so good, I'm gonna more than likely finish it, then I'll talk to y'all a little bit. Yes, indeed. She ever opened up that restaurant? Yeah, let's see what I'm talking about. But this upcoming week, what I'm probably gonna try to do tomorrow is start to do a little bit of meal prep. Maybe do a how jazz. Have the boys picking out their school clothes like three for the first three days then the last two days, instead of trying to do all five days, break it up into a three day cycle and a two day cycle. Well, I thank the Lord that I am able to enjoy meals like this, share them with you guys, as well as my family to enjoy meals like this as well. And we're able to be a blessing while receiving one. So we appreciate y'all as usual. And I shall be back, but as for now, sadly, we have come to that point in the video where we must let you guys go. So until next video, fam, love you guys. Stay safe, stay blessed. Be that light for someone else to emulate because you never know what your kind of words and gestures could do for the next person today.